multi-million dollar prison program under the microscope tonight. In 2012, Hawaii lawmakers enacted what was called the Justice Reinvestment Act. Its purpose is to reduce Hawaii's prison population and to stop convicts from reoffending. But three years later, some are following the money trail and questioning who it's really helping. KITV4's Laura Yamada goes in depth. Incarceration is not an end in itself. Uh, it, it has to help be a, a, a path towards something else. Last July, the reopening of Kulani Prison on the Big Island helped relocate dozens of mainland inmates back to the islands. It was part of the $3.4 million Justice Reinvestment Act to reduce Hawaii's ballooning prison population and beef up community based programs to prevent convicts from reoffending. But today, you're not going to see anything in this legislative session about decriminalizing. It's going to be difficult. In fact, Puna Representative Joy Sanbuventura says the trend this session has been toward tougher sentencing. And renovations to Hawaii's largest prison has sent many local inmates back to mainland prisons. The state kind of gave up on justice reinvestment, and I find that really heartbreaking. Um, we could have been doing so much, and we have really done the absolute minimum. Prison rights activist Kat Brady says she'd hoped one bright spot would be a million dollars from the Justice Reinvestment Act meant for community based programs. The Department of Public Safety just released those numbers. About half is going to what are called re entry services in Kona. The rest are primarily in prison programs. But as for helping people re entering into the community, not so much. But the bulk of people re entering are actually from Oahu. Public safety officials defend their handling of the money, saying job training and treatment programs in and out of prison all help. Also, funded nine parole officers, victims assistance programs, and research. The ultimate goal easing the burden of a problem that's just not going away. One day they're going to be released, and the question is, do you want them to be your neighbor? And if you want them to be your neighbor, don't you want them to be rehabilitated? Laura Yamada, KITV4 News.